struggle. It's a struggle. In years past, Andre's struggles would usually lead to a rash of changes in routine, diet, coaching, anything for a quick fix. But a more mature Agassi thinks differently now. If I'm not playing to win titles and I feel like, you know, something's off and you got to fix it, I, I fortunately have been down this road enough and I've been playing long enough not to second guess the wrong things. I mean, I, you know, everybody's, well, what's the matter now? And it's like, I, I never got caught up into that. My feeling was, what can I do just to turn it around? For Agassi, the spark to rekindle his competitive flame was found on the hard courts at the Olympic Games. This Olympics didn't make my year, it's made my career. When I got to the gold match, I just, all of a sudden, after five matches, my game just elevated. The intensity was there, the, the passion was there, the, the, my game was there. It all just kind of came alive, and I made what normally would be a very difficult match into just to be quite honest, like it felt last summer. Standing on that platform when it was all said and done, uh, there's nothing like it that I've experienced, and um, I'll take that one to the grave with me. Well, Andre, speaking of golden rings and till death do you part, what about you and that girl? The world wants to know, have you set a date yet? Uh, well, not, not really a date that we're comfortable with discussing <laughs> with anybody, but you'll be the first to know, as well as millions of others. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean, not a date that we'd be comfortable discussing? Uh, there's, it, means, it means very uh, few things in our life um, that are ours, and that's, that's one of them. Where is Brooke, anyway? We haven't seen her at this uh, tournament. She only shows up at the second weekend. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I can't remember ever talking about a sixth seed so much in the tournament. Well, Andre, really, they, as you talked about there, as Andre said, that first part of the year, especially from the French to Wimbledon, he was really just out of it. He wasn't there at all. And Andre Agassi is a guy who needs focus. He needs some kind of drive inside him to make him play. And when he has that, which, as he said, he seemed to regain at the Olympics, uh, really only he and Pete Sammers are in the same league on this service, I think. Well, he's got his gold medal. Now he's looking for a silver, the silver U.S. Open trophy, that is. Let's see how he does and go up to the booth to, uh, well, I was looking for a Peter, Paul, and Mary joke, but it's not there. So Tim, Mary, and John. <laughs> thank goodness it wasn't there. But thanks anyway, Pat O'Brien. And by the way, Pat O'Brien, Brooke is here. That's a live shot. And she has been shooting a television series, but she's here for the Saturday afternoon action opening day on CBS. Mary Carrillo, John McEnroe. Mary, let's talk first about this kind of two-half season that Andre Agassi has been playing this year. I think he was so fried last year. I mean, day in, day out, Andre Agassi was by far the most solid, consistent guy on the planet, and he only won one major. And I think he just didn't even want to experience that kind of a year again. I really think this has been a little bit premeditated on Andre's part. He didn't want to, I mean, he wanted to come into this U.S. Open fresh, and he wasn't that last year. And he wanted to win the Olympics, and he did that. So, I mean, I... I don't, as I say, I'm not too worried about Agassi. I think he's got a very nice-looking shot of winning this thing. John McEnroe, uh, Jan Simmerink, uh, kind of for Agassi a little bit, like Leander Page, who gave him all kinds of problems. He knows he's going to be coming forward. Well, a couple of differences. One big one is Jan Simmerink is a left-hander, which I think is going to make it a little more difficult early on. The other one, that uh, Jan Simmerink has been as high as 17 in the world, where Page has never gotten above, say, about 150. But... Tim, because of that scare in the second round a couple days ago, I think Agassi's going to be a little bit more ready to play early on here. So I expect Agassi to win, although we have mentioned earlier in the telecast that Jan Simmering did have a win over Agassi a couple years ago up in New Haven a few weeks before Agassi won the Open. Prior to the tournament, Jan Simmering, ranked number 20 in the world, wins over Carl Uwe Stieb and... Carlos Moya to get into this third round, and he is opening with the service. These guys have been waiting a long time in that locker room. Try not to watch too much of that match, because it's tense watching, sometimes more difficult for the player.